Hello, and welcome to That Canon Guide Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Canon EOS Rebel XTI. This camera right here. Let's get closer to it here. Show you the stuff on it. Okay, so the main features of this camera are pop-up flash, pretty standard with SLRs. The live data screen, instead of having an external one, see, on here, is data screen. Single so adjust, or if I can adjust the brightness here just quick. Let's see here. Go, and I should be able to see this better. The live display, all your settings. It has automatic sensor cleaning, as you just saw there. And that's about it for this camera. Now let's look on the front of the camera. You have your remote control sensor, AF beam, Canon flash unit. This one, for some reason, just likes to you pull right up nice and easy. I have my body camera on there. That's where the mirror and CMOS sensor and everything are stored. EOS Rebel XTI. On the side, you have flash button to pop it up, depth of field. And then on here, you have the video outlet, external flash outlet, and the or external mic, whichever one you prefer. And also digital, the USB port, and also the white one of those. Okay, so on here you have the display button, menu button, jump button, play button, delete. Exposure, compensation, let's see timer, remote timer, and burst mode. It does like five frames per second, five or six. It's really fast. Autofocus button, manual ISO, set, weight balance, and that one. This previews your settings and also the A F beam selector. And it also has a direct print button new with this series. Also the eyepiece with LCD viewfinder. And what I call the nose detector right here. If your nose gets so so inches away from this screen, the screen automatically turns off. And then on this side, you have compact flash door. Right now, I'm using a SDHC MMC to compact flash type 2 adapter. And on the top, you have the Flash hot shoe, flash hot shoe, the mode dial with auto, program, shutter priority, aperture priority, manual, aperture depth, and also portrait, landscape, macro, action, night portrait, and fla no flash. Also have your on, off switch, and you have your little control dial and shutter button, obviously. You need the shutter button, otherwise you can't take pictures. Okay, let's look over the main part to this camera in manual. So basically you change the settings, like aperture stuff here. Let's see, you can sort of see it there. This is ISO, and you have one shot AF, metering mode, white bounce, and then also if you click that continuous shooting. I have it on right now. This is how you preview your settings for the current thing. This is the AF point selection. You can either select it or automatic selection. And then you have the menu display button. Turns off the LCD. Turns on the LCD. My camera's focusing pretty well. For <laughs> Ask you to do quality, it shoots wall plus large, which even on an 8 gig card only gives you 200 photos, so it's a pretty serious resolution there. Red eye, auto off, beep, shoot without card, A, B, flash compensation, white belt shift bracketing, custom white belts, color space, picture style, dust delete data, protect, rotate, print order, transfer order, auto play, review time, histogram. And also auto power off, auto rotate, LCD brightness, LCD auto off, 
date and time, file number and continuous, format the memory card, you have a language, video system, custom functions, clear settings, sensor cleaning, sensor cleaning, well sensor clean auto, sensor clean manual, and firmware version 1.0.4 is the one I have out here. You press the display button menu to show all your stuff. We're now 3.6 gigabytes available on this card. Okay. Let's mount the lens on here so I can show you how it looked like. Okay, zoom out here. My lens. That's the body cover. It's an EF 18 to 55 millimeter. I also have some more back there, but I just thought this one, since it's a stock lens, would be the best one to put on here. Take off the lens cap. Looks pretty good with the lens on us. One thing I think is important when choosing a DSLR, it has to look nice. Can't just look like some said junk you picked off the street. <laughs> if you know what I mean there. Okay, I was just going to show you what type of batteries these take. I guess I will take it this way on my tripod. Oop. Okay, just a minute here. I need to tighten this. But it takes NB 2LA batteries. Let's see what in here. Yeah, right there. See, it's MB2LH. Okay, so let's take a quick photo with this thing. Just gonna add a wide angle converter here so I can hopefully take a longer shot. I have my wide angle converter right here. Okay, I always have trouble matching these threads with threads on the lens, I don't know why. Okay, come on, almost on. Okay, just wait a minute here, probably take me all right, 10, 10, 20 seconds, oh, there you go, I got it. Okay, take a picture of Can Guys Reviews thing here. It's giving me the fish eye effect here, but I can show that to you. Because it's a little dark. But adjust my brightness here, sorry I've been taking so long to do this. <laughs> Oh, I see. I've been manual. Heck yeah, we take that photo here for you. Yo, so, has a fish eye effect, unfortunately, with getting, but other than that, it's pretty good. Let's see, there that is. Must have put the macro lens on backwards. That's why it's giving me the fish eye effect. But what can you do? I'll have to change that later. Okay, so that concludes our tour of the Canon EOS Digital Webble XTI. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please hit the subscribe button above and or the like button below. Again, thanks for watching.